Hey everyone, it's Goddess Puffin. Welcome to my channel. This reading is for the sign of Gemini and is intended for the next 72 hours. So let's get straight into the tarot. For Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, as well as North Node. This could have already happened, getting ready to happen, or it's happening now, even though it is intended for the next 72 hours. This can resonate from the cross watcher's perspective, friend, family member, co-worker. This could be their story. Make it fit how it fits. Keep it up. Uh, keep what resonates and chuck what doesn't. Sorry. I've been saying that all day, so like I am tongue-tied right now from repeating the same thing. And feel free to reverse the roles at any time, however you see fit. We all have masculine and feminine energies within us. So there's no gender in tarot. I can already tell this is about to be a funny one for y'all. This is my last reading for today, so I'm tired. All right, let's get into it. What do you have for Gemini for the next 72 hours, spirit, sun, rising, Venus, as well as North Node? We have the lovers. Of course, your first, the first card out is your major arcana, Gemini. The lovers. What else do you have for Gemini? What else do you have for my Gemini? Oh my gosh. What else for the next 72 hours? The moon, you could be dealing with the Pisces. Two major arcanas, first card out. Strong energy here. What else do you have for my Gemini? If it's all major arcana, I'm gonna scream. What else do you have for, oh my goodness. We have, I'm gonna just take the ones that flipped over. Judgment, three major arcanas, and the Ace of Wands. All right, I'm gonna get you one more card for Gemini. One more card for Gemini for the next 72 hours. Wow. A lot of work has been, oh. Nine of Cups. Overall energy, Page of Pentacles, Earth energy, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. And the Judgment card is Scorpio, Cancer, or Fire energy. Ace of Wands is fire, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, and Nine of Cups is water, Pisces, Scorpio, Cancer. So someone here is being offered or is offering a new passionate beginning. This could be creative energy. Wands is creative energy. So this could be a new passion you're discovering. It could be a new job offer that is your passion. You could be starting a business involving your passion or becoming passionate about something or someone. But you've been manifesting this or you're, you're about to manifest or someone's manifesting you, but this is someone's wish fulfillment. With judgment at the center of this reading, this is something you've dealt with before. Because judgment is all about second chances and reevaluating a situation from a higher standpoint, a higher viewpoint with more experience. You see how she's calling judgment? They're blowing that horn up high up here when all these people surrounding her. So there could be a lot of people involved in this situation. Someone here could have an earth sign child or be seeing someone that has an earth sign childlike energy. Hmm. You've been doing a lot of reflecting, a lot of soul searching, going deep within, whether it's in regards to a situation or yourself, and trying to make a choice about a, a new passionate start. It is your wish fulfillment, or it's someone's wish fulfillment here in Gemini, to have a new start. It could be someone's wish fulfillment to have a new start with their child, or with or you could have an earth sign child or someone you're dealing with could have one. But someone could also be taking on this youthful energy, this childlike energy. Someone here could be dealing with someone younger than them. But I see this as a new offer, a new person in your life. Could be an earth sign. But there's some youthful childlike energy to this. Let's clarify this. I'm seeing this as a really loving reading. It's cute. I don't know why I want to say it's cute. <laughs> Maybe you think this person is cute. Or they feel this way about you. 
but I already get that this reading is cute for some reason. Clarify the lovers, please. Whoa. We have the six of wands. So someone here is getting a lot of attention, success, victory. We have the chariot. So we have the major and minor arcana to success. They both got their hands up. They're both moving forward. Someone could be dealing with the cancer or have it strongly within their chart. But right now, you could be getting a lot of attention or be very successful at a new endeavor, a new business offer, a new job, whatever it is, or within a love situation. Maybe things are moving forward quickly with passion. And if none of this has happened yet, it could be starting to or will be very soon once you make a choice. Clarify the moon. This offer will be presented to you very soon. We have the hanged woman. So that's more Pisces energy. Clarifying Pisces energy. And Pisces are very intuitive. They got their third eye crown chakra open. Clarify the moon. Okay. So you could definitely be dealing with a Pisces or have a strong way in your chart. We have the king of pentacles. So someone here is either a boss or just taking on this earth-like masculine energy for me in tarot masculine is the one who goes out and get things done and the feminine is the one receiving intuitive in touch with their emotions so a masculine a man can be in his feminine energy and be receiving a lot of offers or be in tune with their emotions and see receiving a lot of spiritual messages and a female could be in her masculine energy going out and getting things done. You know, there's no gender in tarot. So someone could be gaining some type of enlightenment going beneath the surface. Ugh. I'm so sorry that I'm talking like this. I'm so sorry. But with the moon card, it's shadow work. Going beneath the surface within and... Viewing the parts of yourself that you may stuff down and not like seeing the other side of yourself. Gaining enlightenment from a situation. There could be secrets involved, things unknown within a situation with this King of Pentacles. But someone here could be a boss or starting a business, like I said. Or someone here could just be very, someone could see you this way or you could see someone this way, but someone who's very in control of their finances. Clarify judgment. Clarify judgment. We have the nine of swords, air energy, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. So someone here could be very anxious at this time. That's about sleepless nights, worry, anxiety, depression, possibly. Clarify judgment. So someone's anxious about this situation, calling judgment on this situation or having something uncovered. And then we have the Ten of Swords, which is backstabbing, betrayals, and endings to painful cycles. Because Tens and Tarot are endings. And when there's endings, with this Eight of Wands, it's new beginnings and vice versa. Something always has to end for a new beginning. So you go from being filled with worry, anxiety, and depression possibly. You know, it's going to resonate for everyone differently. This could have been a group of people or just swords accumulated over a long period of time with this Ten of Swords. But someone was backstabbed. A lot of pain was suffered regarding this situation, something that has happened time and time again. Maybe with the same person or just over a period of time with different situations, these swords have accumulated. And you're calling a judgment on it. and Or someone here is calling a judgment on it. Someone here could be anxious about being exposed or anxious about exposing someone. But there's a need to call a judgment on it so that this can be put to rest. Gain enlightenment on a situation. Do some, you know, deep soul searching, possibly. Whether this doesn't involve outside people, this could just be you. Having sleepless nights, thinking about the past a lot, having regrets. It may be time to go within and take some time alone. Clarify the Ace of Wands. We have the Ten of Wands. So you have two Tens, the Ten of Swords and the Ten of Wands. 
So it's a, a need for a break. Someone could be burdened, have a lot of obligations on them. Someone could have had a lot placed on them or have, what's the word? The blame placed on them. I get it. And with the Eight of Wands coming in, this is fast-paced movement and messages coming in regarding these burdens. It's going to allow you to set these 10 down and put an end to this burden and get a new passionate beginning. Because we go from the Ace, we have the Ace of Wands here, which is, Aces are the seed to each suit, the beginning of each suit. And we have four elements, so we have four suits. The Ace of Wands, fire energy, creative energy, passion, fast-paced movement, fire. And then we have the Ten of Wands. So you're putting behind, closing a chapter, closing a cycle of burdens where other people's burdens have been placed on you. Other people have put things placed on you that never deserve. Ugh. People have put things on you that never belonged to you in the first place. And now you're getting a chance, a second chance to drop all this. And that's going to come to you. It's going to present your, itself to you very quickly, whether it's with intuitive messages or just some type of enlightenment. But these messages are coming into you quickly. And you're going to be presented with this Ace of Wands, a new passionate beginning. Things... This could resonate differently for everyone. Things could have started passionately with someone and fizzled out quickly, but I'm seeing this as burdens coming to an end, pain coming to an end, a dark cycle, possibly a dark night of the soul coming to an end, and you're getting renewed or a renewed sense of self. Clarify the nine of cups. Clarify this nine of cups for Gemini. I'm so sorry about how tongue-tied I usually am when I come into your reading. Clarify the Nine of Cups. Okay. Sorry, y'all. Overall energy, Four of Cups. So an opportunity could be presenting itself to you. Something that may have been a missed opportunity in the past or something that could become a missed opportunity if you don't take that chance. Or if someone here doesn't take that chance. Someone could be presenting this opportunity to you. You could be presenting it to someone. So someone's wish fulfillment. Okay. What I'm getting here is... There was some type of conflict or competition. Either you're involved in it or it was one in the past. Someone was trying to win at all cost, or they're trying to now. And someone's wish fulfillment could be to break someone's heart in this situation. Someone here clarifying the Nine of Cups as the Five of Swords and the Three of Swords. So someone's wish fulfillment is trying to win at all costs and break someone's heart in this situation could be a lot of love bombing, you know, starting things quickly, rushing into something, and then with this chariot trying to rush towards a victory, paint a picture. And, you know, when things start that quickly, they end just as quickly. You did go from the Ace of Wands to the Ten of Wands, from zero to 100, you know, from the start and then straight to a finish. And that could be illuminated to someone right here. And that could make someone anxious and want to put a stop to it like that. It could have been someone's wish fulfillment to cause pain, to win at all costs, to cause heartbreak. Someone could have done this to you on purpose. You could have done this to someone on purpose. But make this fit how it fits. But whatever this is, an opportunity is presenting it to someone, presenting itself to someone. And someone is anxious about being found out possibly in this cycle coming to an end. But that is your reading for the next 72 hours, Gemini. And if it resonated in any way, don't forget to give me a like, comment, subscribe, or share. Bye.